Hello and welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to take our simulated data from Node-RED, output that into an MQTT node, configure that MQTT node to talk to AWS IoT Core, and then confirm that that data arrives to the cloud properly. So, let's get started. First thing we need is the MQTT node. So I'm just going to, up here on filter nodes, just start typing MQTT. And there we go. So what we want is an MQTT out node. So that is going to send that data out to AWS. So go ahead and drag that in, just like so, and let's get that configured. So go ahead and double click on that MQTT node. And first we need to add a new MQTT broker. Let's go ahead and click on this little pencil for edit. And what we want is first we need this server. So head back over to the AWS IoT core page here. And if you click on interact within your thing, you can see the device data endpoint has moved to settings. So I'm just going to head to settings to find that. View settings. And here we've got our endpoint. And if you didn't go that route, you can go back to the home page here. And if you scroll down, you'll see settings in the sidebar. Click on that and let's copy this endpoint. Just like so. Head back into Node Red and let's paste that in. Now, because this is going to be a secure MQTT connection, we need to be using port 8883 and not port 1883. We then click on Use TLS right here and we need to add a new TLS config, and that's where those certificates that we downloaded are going to come into play. So go ahead and click that edit button there. First, we need the certificate, so we need to upload that, and I'm just heading into my downloads folder on a different monitor right now, so you don't see everything I've ever downloaded in my life. And I'm going to first select this CRT file that you see here that I've downloaded, as you can see, starts with 005 and then ends with a CRT. That is the certificate file. So go ahead and add that. Next, we need to add the private key. Let's go ahead and click on upload. And this key is also going to be a long string of characters and it's going to end with private.pim.key. Go ahead and open that. There is no passphrase that was set. So next, we need our CA certificate. And that was the Amazon root CA1 right there. So go ahead and upload that. Now this is typically not very dynamic. This CA certificate actually stays the same until Amazon changes it in some point in the future. But for a while, that should be pretty much the same certificate. So go ahead and select that. Just like so, and then click on add. As you can see, we now have our TLS configuration set. We've got our server set. We've got everything looks good. You can also give a name to this configuration and we'll just call this AWS IoT. We'll click on add. And before we do anything else, let's just click on done and deploy. And as you can see, I've got the little green square here indicating that I am connected. Perfect, that's wonderful. So go ahead and Double click on that again. Let's choose a topic. And I'm just going to call my topic PLC next slash temperature, just like so. And click on done once again. And I'm going to go ahead and deploy this. And of course it's not connected, but go ahead and mark this lesson complete. Come on back to the next one. Let's get everything connected up and let's verify that this data is flowing to AWS.